Sup, everybody. Back again with another episode of the Corrupt Cleaners Podcast. It's your boy. I took a little time to observe the landscape, see what was happening. A lot of money was made after the Tesla and Apple split. Took some profits. The problem is, if you got a little greedy, then pigs got slaughtered. The week went negative real quick. And... In those times, you have to look at how you're investing to know how you need to respond. If you use shares as a bank, crack open a beer and ride the wave. If you use it as a trading position, you need to react instantaneously to every significant down day because that is the difference in thousands of dollars or hundreds or millions, but those guys probably don't listen to this podcast. These are pussies. But getting down to a lot of the deflating in the market, at least in the tech side, I know for Apple and the other NASDAQ-related companies, SoftBank was actually a big catalyst of this movement. They invested millions and actually in total billions of dollars in multiple tech companies. And my guess is it to flip cash quickly to pay for their WeWorks debacle. And A. Flipping cash is what we do, so game recognizes game. I respect it. But when the big boy takes his ball and goes home, a lot of people suffer. So let's get into some stock price changing news. Oracle is the newest desperate soul who's attempting to buy TikTok and its power. Microsoft made an attempt. It failed. They were trying to buy them outright. Oracle's deal now allows for the Chinese parent company to retain 50% stake ownership in the company, which is questionable. The whole reason this company's in this situation is because Donnie does not like playing with other people. So the more that he has to hang out and interact with China for the betterment of the U.S. economy, the more orange he will get. So I don't expect this deal to go through unless there's drastic changes, but I know the stock has fluctuated from it. I would look at this situation as a good time to learn. Look at the stock. Look at the stock performance over the past couple weeks. See how public news positively affects the company. And then when the failure to meet expectations is realized, how it negatively affects the company. Keep you on your toes for your next trading adventure. As we know on this show, I am big, big, big into tech. And here is a big boy play. NVIDIA is forking over $40 billion to chip maker arm to acquire everything. They're buying the whole thing outright to the socks. And I think this is a great play. You heard me talk about the chip makers last time. AMD, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA is realizing they are losing the public traction. The public traction is leading to more contracts for these companies. NVIDIA needs to make a splash. You know how you make a splash? You show that cash. And that's what they did. They're not only increasing their workforce to try and compete with these other companies. They're letting the world know in a public note, hey, we got that. They woke up one day, decided to spend $40 billion before lunch. That's how you get back in this race. And you know what microchips are good for? Software. Software companies are red hot right now, like the Miami Heat. They are going to be the security system of the future. Fuck your guard dog. Fucking kick that thing in the snout. Who cares about that thing? Can you protect your address? Can you protect your email? Shit, can you protect your girl's email? You look like a bitch. Don't be a bitch. And to not be a bitch, you get into these software companies. CrowdStrike is coming. It is coming now, it has came in the past, and it's going to come again in the future. Expect it to be a big name once the presidential election comes around. I bought in. I look at the price right now. Look at the chart history. If it's a good time to buy in, definitely do it again. I haven't looked at it, honestly, because I'm already in the position. But I know they're building steam and momentum, and I want to get them out there for all the other people trying to get into this hustle. And while CrowdStrike is in the lead, there's some other companies in the game letting you know they ain't to be fucked with either. 
Okta, Twilio, both great companies with great earnings reports. And I expect them to be a huge factor going forward as well. This everything is online, work from home, internet is the future lifestyle is causing a lot of other big players in the software space to start releasing IPOs, notably JFrog and Snowflake. They both filed to launch IPOs. There's a record amount of companies trying to launch IPOs because they see how the stock market is trading. Every company is just trying to get a quick payday. That's all it is. Why spend your money when you can spend someone else's? And I know that sounds counterintuitive to why we give them money, but if you're going to get me 50% on the back end, do your thing, player. I don't need to know what you're doing. I'll look this way, shit. Who? Tim Cook? Who? You mean Tim from the block? Nah, not him. He'll never stick you up for 30%. Not my Tim. Snowflake is a perfect example of these companies trying to run it up through stock market. Their IPO, they filed it for it to be released at $120. And whenever a company files an IPO, they allow certain companies to have private bidding on the shares and get in before the public market's allowed to trade. But through private bidding and the public market trading, that stock released for $245, over 100% of what they filed to release per share because the hype is real. They themselves raise the stock value. You know why you raise the stock value? Because you're sitting in a meeting and some guy turns and looks at everyone, dead quiet, and says, oh, we got them. Got them by the balls. They're trying to trade this stock before it's even out. This is like a Travis Scott release in the stock market world. They knew they had to run it up, and I respect it. Make them pay what the market will pay. No discounts over here. If you're going to pay over 100%, for something they didn't even believe was that valuable, that's on you. Talking about hype stocks, GM last week invested in Nikola, raising its stock value 50% to north of $53 a share. Goddamn, they don't even have a truck yet. They don't have a physical product, yet they have a public IPO trading at $53 a share. Goddamn, might as well slap a Supreme sticker on. But they could only fool us for so long. A tech company and reputable tech sources released statements saying that Nikola's lying. They're not as far in development as tech as they think they are. They're not as far in development of their business plan as they're saying they are. At this point, we're just paying them to daydream. And this is why the real always last. Elon would never. They try to take his company idea, alternative energy. They try to take his company name, something that ends with an A. Word for word, bar for bar, they copied his whole fucking flow. Yet they couldn't deliver. And that's the difference. Talking about delivering, Apple is rolling out bundle plans. It comes with their services, there's three levels, individual, family, premiere. The basic plans all come with Apple Music, Apple TV, Cloud Space, and Apple Play, which I believe is their video game service, or their OnlyFans. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'll be sure to find out. I feel like this is genius. It's incentivizing you to use their other products if you only came there for one. Me personally, I have Apple Music. And the bundle seems very equivalent to the price with Apple Music that also comes Apple TV and Apple Play where Tim Cook wears sundresses. You never know you would want something until you get it. And that's what Apple's trying to do. They're increasing exposure to their other products without creating a new product. They're just building off of what you like most and hoping that you explore from there which is great. It's actually a real smart idea. You know it's smart because Spotify's complaining. Spotify's butthurt calling the company out for antitrust stuff again. Pushing for their products on their platform should be illegal. Says who? And you know you're the best if the only way they could stop you 
is by snitching. But Apple ain't worried. These refs are only going to help you lose by 15 instead of 50. I'd like to get into a new segment we're calling When Did That Happen News. It's business news that won't change the stock price, but it's kind of interesting. So, Mackenzie Bezos is now the richest woman in the world. Yeah. 50 Cent said, have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. And Jeff Bezos said, ha. If I was him, I'd be terrified to come. I'll put that shit in a jar and explode it in the desert. Because there is no reason you should need to talk to your accountant before having sex. You gotta move a little differently if your loads could change economies. So Citibank named its first white woman CEO. This is a step in diversity for them because going from a white man to a white woman is progress. Progress for who? White people. But y'all never specified who gotta progress. And that's what corporate America does. They find the loopholes. And lastly, Elon Musk out here wilding again. Elon Musk's new company, Neuralink, put a chip in a pig's brain, and that pig's been living fine for two months now. Elon's taken when pigs fly to a whole new level. Probably sitting there in board meetings like, why would a pig fly when he could just drive a Tesla? And thus, a billion-dollar company was born. All right, guys, that's all for this week. Got some stuff in the works, but I'm back to my grind. I'm about the corruption. I'm about the cash. I'm about cleaning my boys' paycheck and girls, all my friends. Doesn't matter gender as long as you see green like me. Let's keep riding this out. Let's keep building momentum. Keep telling your friends, your family. Share the love, share the money. Peace.